Hi everyone, I'm Serenity from Bai Ethnic Minority. I'm now back to my hometown, Dali. In the old town of Dali, there is a unique Catholic church in the world. It's called the Trinity Catholic Church. It is also where my great-grandmother learned her fluent French. Her school was just over there. And we can look at the whole architecture style. It's the most typical and representative Bai style architecture. The front of the church resembles a dragon heading up to the sky, a symbol of Chinese tradition and civilization. The side of the church looks like a giant ship, connecting to the mission of the Noah's Ark. It embodies justice, peace and love. The Trinity Catholic Church of Dali is the only bi-style Catholic church in the world. There are more than 60 paintings inside the church, whether the Western paintings or the traditional Chinese watercolors, different cultures and distinct styles echo each other, creating an astounding visual shock of its coherent duality. This unique and delicate arrangement and combination show the interaction of two splendid civilizations. It crosses and penetrates space, time and history, demonstrating profound aesthetic and spiritual power. To me, the church bears the memories and ties of three generations of my family. It makes me keep coming back every time I come back to China, like an enduring and ineffaceable force that shelters my deep sense of attachment. The church was built by a French missionary in 1927. By the time, my great grand auntie was studying at the girls' college in the church. In this quaint, old-world church with a complete Chinese and bi-ethnic style, she explored the vastness of the world and the charm of culture diversity for the first time. In the 40s, Catholicism became well-developed in Yunnan. My grandfather, who was about five years old, entered a boys' school in the church. Apart from studying Chinese classics, he started to learn the violin there. I also played the violin when I was little. Granddad always picked up my violin and played beautiful songs after me finishing my practice. I was really surprised then, and later I learned that the Trinity Catholic Church of Dali to him is the deep inspiration of Chinese civilization, as well as the initiator of the Western music and art. Every time I come back to China, I come back to this church to feel the imprints of the old generations. It could be the first try of pronouncing a French word, the first tuneless melody on the violin, the first encounter with a totally different world, or the first time to know somewhere hundreds and thousands of miles away from one's hometown. This year when I came back, I luckily met Father Tao. He started his career 24 years ago and had studied anthropology in Switzerland. Finally, he decided to come back home to spread a love of Christianity, making his own effort for communicating the national and the global. To my family, the church has been influencing the idea of cultural acceptance and diversity for many generations. From the 20s, in such a remote, enclosed small town in the Far East, I was so surprised to see such an all-encompassing cultural product that could keep its pace with time and continue a steady development. This deep, national land has been embracing the pulse of the world all the way through. The true freedom and respect is not written slogans or the so-called veneering and apparent identification and understanding, nor is the blind and irrational immersion in globalization abandoning one's cultural origin. It is to cross the racial and cultural barriers and to put faith in love and kindness with all. It is to love and be grateful to our own culture, identity, while accepting and respecting the others. The Trinity Catholic Church of Dali interprets the regionalization of foreign cultures and the globalization of its local characteristics.